hello friends welcome back again today we are going to discuss about some important troubleshooting commands these commands are very useful in network troubleshooting point of view now first command is ipconfig ipconfig displays all the current tcp ip network configuration values it gives you the basic information about ip address gateway dns server and dscp server let's check the output of ipconfig go to the command prompt and type ipconfig okay now if you see my laptop is connected to do wi-fi now so ip address assigned to my wi-fi adapter is 192.168.5.104 the mask is 3 times 255.0 and the gateway is 192.168.5.1 if you want some more details like dns server and dscp server type ipconfig space forward slash all here you will find all the virtual adapters as well as my physical adapters on my laptop okay now as i am connected to the wi-fi here it is a wi-fi adapter you will find here the physical address of that adapter which is nothing but the mac address whether dscp is enabled or not here you can see the dscp is enabled here is the ip before address mask for it and the DSCP server IP address is 192.168.5.1 and DNS server IP address is 192.168.5.1 here my Wi-Fi router is acting as DSCP server as well as DNS server there is one more command which is very useful is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS so what it does we will take it using well example whenever you visit a website using its domain name that is google.com for example your browser is directed to the dns server where it learns the ip address of that particular website okay a record of the ip address that domain name points to is created within the windows so what it does when you hit the google.com it stores the ip address of that particular website on your windows dns cache so that if you visit the same web website again the information is accessed very quickly okay actually those dns entries or those records are created on the dns resolver cache on your machine windows machine so sometimes what happens ip of that site may change if the dns resolver cache has the older entry so it may result in that you can't reach the website and sometimes it also happens that cache data can also become corrupt okay therefore in order to clear the dns cache we need to use command ipconfig space forward slash flush dns if you want to check the current dns cache entries you can use command ipconfig space forward slash display dns okay here you will find all the details which are stored on the windows dns resolver cache if I want to clear this cache, I will use command ipconfig space forward slash flush dns. Okay, now what it is showing successfully flushed the dns resolver cache. Now, if I will check the display dns, what it is showing could not display the dns resolver cache. So it is cleared all the entries. Now, if I hit the google.com or so several URLs, it will clear again store all these details to that DNS resolver cache. In this way, you can use these commands. If you want to use all the commands related to the ipconfig, you can check using ipconfig space forward slash question mark. Here you will find all the combinations where you can use these commands. Okay. For example, this is the all which we have already used ipconfig space forward slash release to release the ip4 address for the specified adapter if i put this command it will release the which ip address which is assigned to that particular adapter if you use the renew it will again uh, renew the ipv4 address for specified adapter in this way here all the combinations are given which you can use now our next command is ping ping means packet internet grouper it is used to test the network connectivity between two systems it is a simple way to verify that the computer or the network can communicate over the network with another computer or network device so how to use it go to the command prompt 
again and type ping space if we check the google.com connectivity type google.com okay so it is giving the response means the internet is reachable or you can access the google so how it is happening actually the ping commands the packet internet grouper commands operates by sending the icmp packets what is icmp internet control message protocol okay that is the echo message we can say so it sends the echo message if it is reachable it will send the message again mean reply back this is the response which is coming from that particular google.com now what we have seen in ip config i have seen my router ip address this is the my router wifi router if i want to ch uh, check the reachability with the router type ping and the ip address 192.168.5.1 I am getting the reply so by default if you type the ping it will send the four packets and you will get the response if you want to do the continuous ping response means continuously it should send the packets type ping 192.168.5.1 the specified destination which you want to check and the hyphen t here it will show the continuous ping okay if you want to close it type control break or control c here you can also use like this here hyphen t it will give the continuous ping the other way also control c hyphen t this is the way to send the control continuous ping response okay now if you see the packet bits by default is 32 bits I mean it is sending the 32 bits packet and the response is also coming if you want to customize that packet details or the packet size you can use the command like ping the destination which you want to take we will take uh, google.com okay the command is hyphen l the length which you want to specify now i want 500 byte okay and enter now what if you see it is showing sent 500 bytes from your side and the reply is getting 64 byte. okay now if i want to do it a uh, thousand you can do it in this way you can do the or you can customize the packet size this is the way we can use ping response if you want to check all the combination you can type ping space forward slash question mark here you will find all the combinations which are available with the ping now here it is showing hyphen t which we have seen earlier it is a for the continuous ping hyphen a is to resolve the addresses to the host name now if there is something uh, is bind if we bind the particular ip address to the host name using that particular ip address if you do the hyphen a it will resolve to the host name if it is available hyphen l is to send the buffer size we have customized the buffer size in this way you can check all the combinations which are available with the ping okay now our next command is a get mac the get mac is nothing but it is used to find out the mac address or the physical address of the network card or the network interface card or the network adapters actually the mac address is of 44 48 bit we already know that so if you want to check the mac address of your uh, machine or the network adapters you can use the gate mac how to use that go to the command prompt type ipconfig so no not ipconfig gate mac okay and enter it will show all the adapters physical ip address okay now my wi-fi adapter is this one so okay so mac address of that wi-fi adapter is this one if you want to cross check go to the connection open network connection change adapters this is my wi-fi adapter double click details if you cross check this is the same which is it is shown here okay so in this way you can check the mac address of your adapters which are present on your laptop it may be multiples means it always multiples there is a LAN adapter Wi-Fi adapter it will show all the adapter details okay so uh, now the next command is ARP what is the meaning of ARP the meaning of ARP is address resolution basically it shows the MAC addresses of the system against specified address now what you will do you will specify the one IP address and it will give the MAC address binded against it now how to use it go to the command prompt okay and type r if you took r it will show all the combinations so how to use that r 
these are given here now if if we check the hyphen a with hyphen a it will display all the current arp entries okay and hyphen g also will show the same now we will check the hyphen a now if i do ip con arp hyphen a it will show all the mac addresses against this ip address if you check this is my router ip address my wi-fi router ip address the mac address of that router is here it is given okay in this way you can check all the entries of arp so in this way we have seen all the commands related to the cmd ip config ping git mac arp thanks for watching it if you have any query or questions please let us know and do comment below the video we will try to clarify those queries thanks for watching it thank you friends